Hello everyone, Dreeks here, and welcome back to Earthbound. Welcome to the lava area of this game. Sanctuary 8, here in the lost underworld, the final area the Scaraba hieroglyph talked about. And it looks like we're going to start battling immediately. <laughs> I hope you've been bringing along a lot of flame resistant gear, because a lot of the enemies here are going to be, uh, yeah, fire based, <laughs> fire elemental enemies. Especially PK Freeze should work wonders on the fire type enemies. Soul consuming flame. PK Fire is still handy to use for multi enemy battles. But as you can see, to the flame enemy, it did barely anything. <laughs> Perhaps not the wisest idea to use it, not even on the ghost enemies. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say that the enemies in this part of the game are actually by far the toughest we have faced so far. But with my level, I should still be able to do it. However, it's clearly not going to be easy. Enemies are really annoying to take down at this part in the game. And also not per se easy to avoid, so... Still be prepared to do a lot of fighting in here. That said, there's also things to explore here. This place also needs to be cleared. Let's start exploring! <laughs> Let's go in here first. Should be an item we can get over here. And some experience points too, it looks like. <laughs> Psychic Psycho. And a stronger variant of the same type of enemy immediately. Fire elemental humanoid type of enemy. Weak against freeze. Very obvious. And be careful for them using PK fire against you, of course. Major Psychic Psycho. That's how the stronger one is called. And he's not able to move. <laughs> yeah, here comes PK Fire. There's Ness. Not so much Paula. Not so much Jeff. <laughs> and Pooh. Unfortunately, I don't really have a good defense for Pooh. Ness's defense is the fact that he has way too much HP. <laughs> so he could take a couple of hits. But definitely make sure you have the Flame Pendant and the Sea Pendant at this point in the game. Because those two are going to be sacred here. As you can clearly see, it really limits the damage that PK Fire does to your party. At least the two of your party members. <laughs> Ness, if he's high level enough, usually can take a couple of hits because of his high HP and the fact that he can heal himself. So he should usually be fine. But anyway, we're getting even stronger. 64 for Ness. Extra increase in Guts. And a very big increase in PP. Paula reaches level 61. Jeff reaches 58. So, we were in here for a present, weren't we? <laughs> a speed capsule. Ness remains to be by far the slowest party member in this party, so let's try to remedy that a little bit. And let's move on. Let's go climb this rope uh, after fighting this dude. <laughs> Okay, there's more enemies here. Probably not going to be able to avoid them. Nope. Okay, another strategy you could use whenever facing these enemies in this place. Sacrifice a little bit of Paula's PP in order to create a shield for your party. PK Shield Sigma should be enough for that. Because that will create a psychic shield. And therefore any PK fire they throw at you can be blocked that way. Allow me to show that off. That's also a strategy I'd like to cover here. This is also um, a very good way to try to stay alive in this place. It will cost Paula her PP a little bit. But you can always use uh, Pooh's PP to do the attacking. With PK Freeze and stuff like that. And then focus on using Shield with Paula. And especially the Sigma Shield. Because you want to have protection against all of the magical attacks from the enemies. Which we're not going to see today, it looks like. <laughs> They didn't get a chance to attack. Level 56 for Pooh. Awesome. Good increase in HP and PP. But anyway, just remember, whenever facing these guys, using PK Shield, Sigma, can also really help you out of a fire here. <laughs> okay, here's a new setup. Major Psycho and a soul-consuming flame. Once again, Shield... Especially because of the Psycho. And Pooh can try to steal some of their PSI. Because I'm already below 100 with him. 
Magnet Omega. Three. Oh, and the flame does not have any PP. <laughs> so apparently he can also not use PK Fire. Good to know. But we know that guy can. No, oh, he's also using uh, Shield. So PK Freeze is no longer an option. Oh, wow. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> 300 damage. Wow. Let's see if Auto can still save me. He should be able to input life up in time. Yeah, <laughs> still in time. <laughs> ah, come on, I wasn't even done healing and I already get 300 damage again. <laughs> okay, that is obvious. He may not be able to use PK Fire because of not having magic. That does not mean that he does not hurt you. <laughs> he can throw a fireball doing over 300 of damage if you don't have flame protection. Good to know. <laughs> And these guys are guarding a present, so let's go take care of that. Bag of Dragonite. I can turn into a dragon. Ooh, and I'm surprised I actually avoided that guy. Hmm. Oh, these guys are back. <laughs> yeah, same setup. Another Psycho and another Flame. And we now know the Flame cannot use any magic, so I'm not even going to bother using shield this time. Um, heavy bazooka, of course. Should be using that more often, in all honesty. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, come on! Uh, but yeah, as you can see, that is also an attack you can use. If he breathes fire, he actually attacks all of your party members, and not just one. Still doing heavy damage. <laughs> that is obvious. Okay, uh, let's auto this. Yeah, Poo's obviously going to use uh, life up. Nash can't do that anymore, so... <laughs> Jeff is paralyzed. Healing Omega, so Nash returns full health. He is down. But I'm not happy about the fact that Poo's PP is running really low now. So that's going to be a problem. 65, 62. Two more level ups. So at least that was worth it. Let's also not forget to heal Jeff's paralysis. Unfortunately, that's going to require healing Gamma. Therefore, taking a lot of PP. But Nash still has 150 left. So hopefully that should be fine. Oh. <laughs> Oh, interesting! You can also take these guys out with the uh, green swirl. Good to know. And therefore, I should be trying to do that more often. <laughs> because engaging these guys does not always end too well. <laughs> you might have noticed by now. They are really good at killing my party. But at least now we only have one, so... Hopefully we should be able to get through this one. Yeah. See, if it's only one enemy, I can do it. <laughs> That's usually not a problem. So, two level ups later. Let's finally continue. Main pathway continues over here to the right. All the way, I'm pretty sure. Nope, never mind. <laughs> this is a dead end. We need to go in this cave. Oh, finally, a room that is empty. Game should be doing that more often. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Can't avoid you. Where were we? Oh yeah, present. And this one is on my notes, and therefore it is important. I present to you Sharoop's band. Yeah, you guessed it. New band, and therefore our arms equipment can be upgraded. Something even better. And as always, the game really loves jumping 20 points ahead. <laughs> Most of the items we equip actually um, are 20 point increase. Probably a coincidence. There, got you. <laughs> it's weird that some enemies actually can be green swirled to death, but not all of them. Well, at least we have the experience points. Good to have a couple of battles where we don't get any damage. It's a rare occasion. Just like avoiding enemies that don't want to fight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
such a waste of time, these guys. When there's two of them, the battles are way too difficult. And when there's one of them, the battles are way too easy. <laughs> but okay, let's go check out this cave for another present. And of course, another battle. <laughs> In here should be an optional item, not per se important. A horn of life. So if you're still interested in um, buying items at the tender shop, here you can actually find one for free. But of course you can also use it as an item um, yourself. Revives fallen party members of course. It's not called horn for life or nothing. <laughs> oh, here's a butterfly room. And therefore we can finally start doing something about Poo's low PP. <laughs> and of course, also immediately heal Ness and Paula. So, allow me. This might take a while because we have very high numbers of PP. Since we're so high level. And therefore, healing it completely is going to take a while. <laughs> but first, we're going to heal everybody's HP. And with that out of the way, let's go start healing PP. It's going to take multiple trips throughout this room. <laughs> Don't worry, you don't have to sit through that. I'll cut it out until I am back to full PP again. See you folks in a minute. Level up in the meantime. Interesting. 63 for Paula. And a good one. Every bit of increase in PP she gets is always good. Let's continue healing. <laughs> and that should be it. 227. Zero. <laughs> and 127. Here we go. Everybody is full health again. Both HP and PP. And therefore saying, let's continue with this place. Took long enough. So, where were we? This is another new setup, I'm pretty sure. We've not seen the regular Psycho and the Ghost yet. At least not in one battle. Heavy bazooka for you. And the rest of the game can take care of itself. Easy enough. Level 66 for Ness. HP jumps by 13. Jeff reaches 60. Ooh, IQ went up by 3. HP by 12. <laughs> Pooh, 58. And that one was not so special. <laughs> okay, um, let's go to the next room. Back to the main chamber again. Where we have a rope. And no enemies, for once. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, safe to say, PK fire still hurts. So, life up beta for Ness. Life up beta for Pooh. There we go. There's another battle up here, so... And now let's go enter this cave before the other flame actually tries to engage us. <laughs> Even more of them. <laughs> I'm already tired of all the fights in here. You know what? Let's go try to run away. Ooh, thank you. Is there more? No, apparently these are the only two enemies in here. Let's quickly go in here. Because we want that present we see over there. 
this way we can actually reach it by these means. And we find a moonbeam gun. Gun, and therefore a weapon for Jeff. Paula is the one who gets it. However, we don't want Paula to get it. We want Jeff to have it. And we want Jeff to equip it. The death ray was a good weapon, but the moonbeam is even better. Another 20 point increase. <laughs> Just like always. Always the 20 point increase. Ooh, we can see our destination up ahead already. <laughs> but trust me, we are not there yet. We still need to go around. But we are getting closer and closer to the final monster in a Your Sanctuary location. Run away. Yeah, works again. <laughs> Perhaps I should be using the run away option a little bit more often. Officially, it actually does not always work, but so far I'm getting really lucky with it. <laughs> Just like with this one. <laughs> this is a green swirl I couldn't really do anything about. But still, I'll take it. Oh, but now we get the red swirl. <laughs> My luck has run out, it seems. <laughs> First, they're going to hurt me. Oh, uh, at least one of them is going to hurt me. <laughs> In that case, let's go use PK Gaming. That actually works on both of these guys. PK Freeze works on the flame. The bazooka works on everything. And PK Freeze. Let's get rid of the fire monster first. His flame attacks are really deadly, so... <laughs> I definitely fear him. He has killed Ness already, so... Heavy bazooka. Yeah, also works on you. And I still have a Gaming. The downside of this um, set of enemies is the fact that PK Freeze does not really work on the ghost type enemies. And PK Fire does not work on the fire type enemies. So, <laughs> usually, this is a better bet using PK Gaming. Or whatever it's called for you. Come on. <laughs> now, can we finally go do this boss battle? All of these enemies is fun and everything, but they're getting a little bit repetitive. It's time for something new. We have found the final Your Sanctuary location on planet Earth. So let's make sure we are ready to take on the guy that actually stole the magical powers before we are allowed to get them. And therefore we need to be full health. We're not going to take any chances. We already found out the seventh boss of this game was pretty high in HP, therefore not per se easy to take out. We're not going in here not being full health. Our PP did drain a lot, but we should still have enough to take on this guy. You finally got here. This is the eighth and final Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Let's go. I'm ready for you, Carbon Dog. A fire type dog, as you can clearly see. <laughs> So it's pretty obvious, be prepared to take a lot of hurting from PK fire and other flame attacks. The way I'm going to deal with him, attack normally with Nas, use a lot of freeze magic with Paula, obviously his weak point, and do the same with Pooh. You're going to want to spare Nas's PP in order to heal in case that is necessary, and then Paula and Pooh can focus fully on using the most powerful PK freeze they have in order to do as much damage as possible to this guy. It's usually the strategy you want to go for here. So PK freeze Omega as long as she has the PP. And PK freeze Gamma as long as Pooh has the PP. Okay, here it comes. It's going to hurt everybody. Paula and Jeff does not really matter a whole lot, but Nas and Poo are going to take a lot of damage whenever he uses that attack. So always keep Nas ready to do some healing in case that is necessary. Like right now for instance. <laughs> Paula still has plenty of PP. Jeff just attack normally. Let's switch to healing with Poo as well. Because of his attack attacking everybody just now, I want to heal both of my party members. Life up. Thank you. Now oh, here it comes again. Only 15. 
only 15. And 258. <laughs> oh? Oh dear, he transformed into something else. <laughs> if he takes enough damage, the second phase of this fight will start. As you can see, he transformed into the diamond dog now, and therefore changing his element. He now has a physical shield, <laughs> and therefore we can no longer attack him directly. But with Jeff, you're going to want to switch the items next, like a neutralizer for instance, in order to try to get rid of the shield. Could definitely work. Let's do more healing with Poo. This should still work. Yeah, 327. <laughs> it works pretty nicely. <laughs> Luckily, he does not use any flame attacks anymore, but his biting move will also still hurt. Okay, this should get rid of his shield. Um, I'm going to take a chance here and try to attack him with everybody, hopefully finishing him off this turn. PK3 should still work. Heavy Bazooka with you. And also PK Freeze with you. And hopefully Paula's going to stay alive. And if she doesn't, I have means to get her back, so... <laughs> Taking a big chance here. Come on. Get rid of you. 300. Not enough. 237. Also not enough. <laughs> but he actually... Reinitiated the shield and therefore did not attack me. So I can continue attacking you. Magical attacks still work. Jeff can try to get rid of that shield a second time. And Pooh can't really do a whole lot anymore, so let's switch to freeze Elva with him. <laughs> Neutralizer. Shield is gone. Let's finish you off. Nope. Come on, still not enough. <laughs> I'm running out of PP with everybody, so... <laughs> this better be over quickly. Ness still has 30 PP. Can't use Omega anymore with Paula. Can still use Heavy Bazooka, of course. And let's heal some PP for Pooh. In case I need a life up. Come on. Still not enough. <laughs> Why won't you die already? Oh, come on. <laughs> this is taking forever. I need healing. Paula. And we have more healing. Yeah, magic truffle. Um, heavy bazooka. And PK freeze gamma. At least he solidifies every single time, so I'm not receiving a whole lot of attacks anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing, at least. So, we have some PP again on Paula. Let's go see if another PK Freeze Omega is enough to take you out this turn. <laughs> um, yeah, not going to take any chances. I need as much attacking strength as I can get. And he is finally down! <laughs> By far the longest boss fight yet in this game. <laughs> but still doable. Ness levels up to 67 at the end of the game. And we learn the power of PK Flash Omega. Paula levels up to 64. IQ up by 4. Maximum PP to 18. And we learn PK Fire Omega, finally! <laughs> Jeff levels up to 61, and Pooh to 59. That was awesome. And this guy was clearly not easy. <laughs> but if you have enough PP, and even means to heal the PP, this guy is our prey. And next episode, we will finally get the final melody of the game, completing it. And that flame enemy over there is acting weirdly. <laughs> oh, stop doing it now. Uh, you're not interesting anymore, sir. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for watching. 
See you folks next time when we go into the final Your Sanctuary. Dreeks out.